So for today, we're going to be looking at the Scarlet Semblance Shader. I will be doing a new thing where we look at some of the shaders that we get from the new seasons, or we can go back at look at old shaders, or if you guys want to ask for a shader specifically, just let me know in the comments below. But we're essentially going to be using Scarlet Semblance as this video's starting point, and from there, we will see what kind of armor sets we can go with. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe, like the video, comment, it all really does help and it makes me really happy. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the Hunter, Titan and Warlock in that order. We're going to be using pieces that I think fit really well with the shader. And for the Hunter, we're going to be going for a hive slash foreboding look, kind of like evil, which is pretty appropriate because Scarlet Semblance is really like a horror shader. So let's actually look at the example set that I made. So for the helmet, we're using the Superior Visions Cal specifically because you can't really see the visor at all, if any. and the other cool part is the fact that the bottom of the visor, the breather part actually looks really brutal with it. Like kind of almost like a Joker smile, the one where he like the sides of his mouth is cut kind of looks like that for, for some reason for me, for the arms reason, the, twist, the twisting echo grips specifically because they're hive themed. And this is a very heavy on hive theme. I think the only thing you can really change is the helmet. The helmet could be on a bit better if I'm, being quite honest, but I do like the Superior Visions cowl, uh, specifically for the reasons I just said. For the chest piece, this is pretty funny because you could use other ornaments for the Omni Oculus. You could use the Leering Marrow, which is the one I currently have on, or you could use the Sweet Embrace, which is really cool. The only reason I'm not using it is because the shader on this is inverted compared to the other armor sets. Specifically, uh, the armor pieces are white with red like highlights to it and the chest piece is actually red with white highlights on it, specifically the arms. So that's why I decided not to use that ornament, but it does look really good with the ornament just to let you guys know. For the boots, we're using the dark hollow threads. This is from uh, King's Fall. And specifically the reason I'm using this because you could actually use the Apylos Falling Strides from Season of the Haunted, which looks really cool with it. The only reason I didn't go with it is because I actually prefer dark hollow threads because it is asymmetrical and the arms obviously are asymmetrical, which is why I went towards the dark hollow threads. And then for the cloak, we're using the steeplechase cloak because I really like the spikes at the back of the hood and the armor piece on top of the helmet also looks really good with it. This one specifically just because it does feel like hive inspired even though i'm pretty sure this is actually fallen themed uh but i could be wrong on that let me know in the comments below but yeah hunters let me know what you guys think obviously the only piece here that you can actually switch out and would probably be better off is the helmet the only reason i used it is because again the jaw just looks wild like there's actually cut pieces in there but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below hunters let me know as for the titans i actually went on a different path for this one instead of going for a hive themed i went for a little bit more of a niche look. I'll explain my theme after I'm done looking at the armor sets specifically, but for the helmet, we're using the Veritas helmet specifically because I think the helmet looks really good with every, everything. It looks a little bit more visceral when you use this helmet because again, the skull, the skull face looks really good with it. For the arms, obviously we're using the point contact cannon brace, which looks really good. For the chest piece, we're actually using the, the Eidolon Pursuant Plate, which looks really good. Definitely one of my favorite chest pieces for the Titans, specifically because with the arms combined with the chest piece, I feel like it goes, it looks really good with, the, with each other, almost like they were made for each other. I think what I really like about it is the fact that the warning symbols on the collarbone, I guess you would say, looks really cool on top of the plate on the stomach looks really good as well. Overall, I think these two pair really well together. For the boots, we're using the Forge Machinist Greaves because it looks very mechanical and obviously I'm trying to go for a mechanical look to pair well with the arms. And for the mark, we're using the Wing Discipline specifically because it looks tattered at the end of the mark and I think that looks really good with this. Almost like I've been using Thunderclap so much that the mark is actually starting to disintegrate from all of the electricity it's been had. So let me actually explain the theme around this the th whole theme around this whole set specifically scarlet emblems with this whole set is because 
I imagined my Titan using Thunderclap against an enemy for the first time and the enemy just exploded and the red is just all of the blood that the enemy like just splashed all over me. So that's the theme for me for like, for like how my head cannon like the shader it used to be white but because I thunderclapped someone so crazy they just basically showered me with their blood. That was the theme I went with and I think it looks really brutal a little foreboding because it just looks menacing especially with Veritas helmet. But Titans, let me know what you guys think. This is definitely one of my favorite sets that I've made this season so far. You will be expecting to see this armor set in the new exotics fashion video that I will be making. Either I've made it or I have made it. If I made it, check it out right here. If I'm not, um, still go watch it. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks, which I went with another Hive theme, specifically because the Controverse Holds got a really cool ornament and I wanted to make a cool set for it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Warlocks, do you guys think this looks cool? Obviously, I'm going to explain it. I'm just, I just want to know what you guys think so far. So for the helmet, we are using the King's Fall helmet. I specifically am using this because I think it looks really cool. And if I'm being quite honest, I don't have the chest piece yet, which is the actual piece I wanted to combine it with but i still think this looks really cool if anything i i might prefer this more but yeah again let me know for the arms using the controverse holds with the grasp of the void ornament this is the new ornament got came out this season it looks really cool i cannot wait to get grab my hands on this <laughs> get it I'm, I'm sorry either way it looks really cool uh corrupting echo robes is the chest piece specifically because it goes really well with the helmet obviously we're going for a hive look and obviously i'm going to be using corrupting echoes obviously you know it, i'm gonna hit you with those obviously for the boots we're using this fetish boots specifically because i really like how the knee has like this almost like connective tissue kind of texture to it it's very rare for you to actually see it but I know the I know the boots I'm wearing and for me it's like I know I'm wearing those so for me it doesn't really matter if you can't see it for me I still like it and then for the mark we're actually or and for the bond we're actually using the iron banner uh fallen themed armor at least that's what I think it is I'm pretty sure fallen made it either way we're using it it looks really cool uh, if you guys want to know the name of it it's the uh, the iron forerunner bond and I really like this bond. Definitely one of the coolest bonds here. I wanted to go for the spiky bits because obviously there's a lot of spiky bits to this set. And overall, the Scarlet Semblems makes it look really, really menacing as well because this, the shader is just, it just hits, bro. Like it really hits. So these are the armor sets that I made for this shader. Let me know what you guys think. I do have a few other shaders that I want to work with and some of my favorite shaders that I've loved. We're also going to be going through some gold shaders because of... I think, what is it? Child cancer, something like that. I don't remember. Either way, fuck cancer. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. Thank you all for coming up to this point and I'll see you guys later.